Hi everyone, I'm Priyanka and you're welcome to the Terrace Kitchen. In today's video, I'll show you how to make super crispy and delicious aloo tikki recipe. It's very simple, you can enjoy it with green mint chutney or imli chutney. Let's get started. For this recipe, we need 4 to 5 medium sized boiled and peeled potatoes. Once you boil the potatoes and peel them, mash them. I'm using potatoes while they are hot because it becomes very easy to mash them while they are hot. That's why I'm using a fork. Next here I've got flattened rice that is poha. So this is 1 fourth cup plus 2 tablespoon. This is the regular poha which we use to make kanda poha for breakfast. So it's the same poha. Give it a good mix. I did not soak the poha in water. The reason is it will absorb the extra moisture that the potato will have and your tikkis would become better and crispier. Here I'm adding 1 tablespoon cornstarch. If required, I'll add more later. Give this a mix. Do not try to knead it like you knead your dough for roti or chapati. Just try to mix it. After that, cover it and let it sit for 10 minutes and the poha will absorb all the extra moisture. This is ready and you can see the poha, white poha is not visible. Next here I'm adding 1 teaspoon mixed Italian herbs for a different touch or you can use crushed black pepper. Half teaspoon chili flakes. If you do not have these, you can use red chili powder as per your taste. Then 2 to 3 finely chopped green chilies. Again, the amount of green chilies will also depend on how hot your green chilies are so you can decide that. 2 teaspoon finely chopped or a paste of ginger garlic and I am adding 1 tablespoon more cornstarch and then some salt as per taste. Again, try to mix it and do not try to knead it like your roti or chapati dough. Just try to mix it. After you are done mixing, apply some oil to your palms and also to the plate on which you will be keeping the tikkis. Next step is to divide this portion into tikkis. If you have a cookie cutter or if you have a lid, a stainless steel lid, something that you can use to make tikkis, you can use that. If you do not have anything, you can also use your hand to make round tikkis. Round, heart shaped, oval, any, any shape of tikki that you like. If you have a cookie cutter, make sure you grease it well with oil before using it to make these tikkis. So here with this recipe, I have made 5 medium sized aloo tikkis and next step is to deep fry these. Deep fry these tikkis or you can shallow fry these. I am deep frying these at medium flame. At some stage, you might have to increase the flame a little or if the oil becomes too hot, you might have to lower the flame. So get that idea and make sure not only the outside of the tikki becomes crisp, but the inside also gets nice and hot and the outside becomes crispy. If you're finding it difficult, you can try with one tikki at the beginning and once you get that idea, you can fry more in one go. These tikkis turn out really nice and crispy and very tasty. You can enjoy these with chutney, umli chutney or green chutney. Let me break one tikki and show you the inside. It's very hot at this time and I'm finding it difficult to break it. Look at that steam. It's hot, it's crispy on the outside and I'll just dip it in my imli chutney and enjoy it right away. If you like this recipe, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Terrace Kitchen for more such wonderful recipes. And do give this recipe a try and enjoy.